Setting a correct median exposure, which we know is the base image in our exposure bracketing sequence, is truly the most important part of shooting an HDR photograph. And more often than not, the correct median exposure actually isn't what your camera is considering is the correct exposure. If the median exposure is too dark, then what happens is our brighter version of that image isn't going to capture enough of the detail over here in the shadows. On the flip side, if the median exposure is too bright, then basically the darker image is not going to capture enough of the detail over here in the highlights. So without the correct median exposure, then basically we're going to have a lot of detail lost due to essentially either adjusting exposure in post-production or simply not having detail there to begin with. There are three techniques that you can use to verify that you have shot the correct median exposure. Now, the first and most simple of these is simply a trial and error methodology. Well, basically, you're going to approach a scene. You'll dial in the correct auto exposure bracketing for whatever you want. Let's say a three frame, two stop bracketed sequence. You would then dial in what you think is a correct median exposure based on your metering and based on the overall scene and take a sequence of images. Next, after you take your first sequence of images, make sure that your highlight alert is turned on. You're going to flip through each image, starting with the media exposure, making sure it's nice and in the middle, going over to basically the, uh, let's see, you're on the other side, so this would be the dark side. So going over that darker image and making sure that basically everything over in the highlights is visible, and then going to the brighter image and making sure everything in the shadows is nice and visible. Now this is sort of a, a visual confirmation. You're using the highlight alert to help you out, but it actually works pretty well. And from there, once you've kind of figured out where you're at, you're going to adjust that median exposure accordingly and simply do this process until you get an accurate or the most correct median exposure and bracketed sequence. The second technique, which is a little more technical, is to use the histogram. But this technique will yield more consistent results. So essentially when you approach your scene, what I'd recommend doing is turning on your live view. Most cameras or most modern DSLRs should have live view and what you can do is turn on the histogram inside of live view. With the histogram enabled, you can dial in the exposure based on this histogram. Now a correct histogram for a median exposure should look like the following image. Basically it's going to have sort of a U shape where the shadows are close to or pushed along the left side and where the highlights are close to or pushed along the right side of the image. Now if you had to err on one side or the other, I would always err slightly on the brighter side because it will give you more clean results. But essentially this is what a histogram should look like for your median exposure. So with the histogram up on your live view, you can adjust the settings accordingly. Once you're done, you can flip off live view, turn on your auto exposure bracketing, adjust your focus and everything else in and take your shots. And you'll know that basically the darkest shot is going to be correct and the brightest shot is going to be correct as well. Now the third technique, which not all of you might have available to you, is to use the camera's internal HDR function. We're going to talk more about this a little bit later on, but basically what this does is it allows the camera to shoot that sequence of images and it's going to process them in camera. So essentially what you'll do is shoot your sequence of images, you'll look at the camera's internally processed HDR and see if it looks right. Essentially a correctly processed HDR file should have a histogram that kind of looks like an upside down U if you were to look at the histogram. Or you can simply just look at it visually with a highlight alert enabled and make sure that you can see all the details in the highlights as well as all the details in the shadows. This basically gives you a sort of on-site preview of what that HDR file might look like and we can choose whether or not we want to use it in post-production. More likely than not, we'll actually end up not using the camera's internally processed HDR file because we're going to do our own processing inside of our third-party processing application, but uh, it does give you a good check and a good kind of idea of whether you got the median exposure correct. From there, you'd basically dial in the exposure accordingly. If the HDR looks too dark, you're going to brighten the median exposure. If the HDR looks too bright, you would darken the median exposure. So these are the three techniques that you can use to make sure that you've dialed in a correct median exposure. Doing so is going to ensure that you're maximizing the overall detail of your HDR images. They're going to look a lot more clean, they're going to have more detail, better color, and overall the images will look much more professional.